Okay, so I really don't talk about this often on my channel. I mean, there's been so much controversy about it uh, just in general, but uh, I had a question posed about vaccinations and more specifically the COVID vaccine. Um, and I don't know if you all even know about uh, some of the stipulations that you have while working in the hospital. So that's what we're gonna get into. We're gonna get into talking about the various different vaccines that are required because you know what? The COVID-19 vaccine isn't the only one. Um, so a question was posed by one of my subscribers slash followers. Uh, this was posed by Mabel Rice and she said, hey sis, love your videos. Do you think it's still worth finishing a degree in MD um, if they're requiring COVID shots now? Thank you for all that you do. So Mabel, let's get into this question right now. All right, guys. So, I mean, I think it's a pretty, you know, legit question, kind of heavy decision that somebody would have to make on, you know, where their stance is with respect to vaccinations and, you know, having the right to do what they want to do with their body as a lot of people who are anti-vaccinations um, actually kind of propose. Uh, but yeah, you know, I, I think that this is a question that anybody who has an issue with um, vaccines or the COVID-19 vaccine or vaccinations in general should definitely kind of resolve in themselves. Uh, so as a healthcare provider, and even as a student, uh, there were, I had, I was never one to really get like the flu vaccine and those type of vaccinations, like the ones that you get on a consistent basis. Like, yes, you know, growing up as a child, I got like your measles, mumps, rubella, and you know, your tetanus and diphtheria and, um, you know, polio and all of those various different like childhood vaccines that you typically get. Um, so it's not that I was anti-vaccines, but when it came to like the flu, I'm like, well, what's the point of me getting this flu vaccine if, you know, there's a possibility that I could still get it anyways. Um, and hey, you know, like I, if it's, if I get the flu, like I'll just kind of weather the storm. And so that's kind of how I felt. So I never really got the flu vaccine, but as a pre-PA student, um, you know, going into the healthcare system, uh, I was able to kind of skate by and not get the vaccine uh, for my job that I had. But when it came to PA school, I actually had to get the flu vaccine. Um, and I had to get a tetanus booster. And those are things like that I had never really thought about or like kind of resolved, but it, there was like a little bit of an internal struggle because I'm like, well, why do I need to get this vaccine? But it was a requirement. Uh, and then after graduating from PA school, because there were all these other, you know, like you had to get um, hepatitis, like I had to get like your, I think it was like hep C and some other like of the hepatitis as well. Um, and I think that was a three shot series once you were going into rotation. So vaccine for flu when you were getting into school and then again, flu and hepatitis and maybe another booster or something like that while you were going into rotations. And once I graduated from PA school, again, it was the same thing. I got to my job and, you know, I got hired in like February, started working around April and then, then you, you come into your winter months and it's like October time, November time, and hey, it's flu season. And it is mandatory for you to get the flu vaccination because if you don't get it, then you have to prove like, or you have some type of documentation that shows like you have a little legitimate reason for not getting it. Um, and since I didn't have a legitimate reason, I just didn't want to, uh, but that's not legitimate enough. Um, you know, you either get the vaccine or you you quit your job or you don't have your job. Um, and so it's the same thing with this COVID-19 vaccine. And obviously I hear everybody's concerns about, you know, like the rollout and, you know, what the government is telling us versus not and all of those various different things that, you know, like there's so many like conspiracy theories and things flying around, but ultimately, um, for me, I resolved in myself that, hey, you know, at the end of the day, like, I love my job. I love taking care of patients. And, you know, if I just like the flu vaccine is required and I've taken the flu vaccination, uh, if this COVID-19 vaccine is also required to work in the hospital and keep myself safe and work with my patients, then that's what I'm going to do. So for Mabel, for you, 
if this is something that you cannot resolve in yourself and you can't say like, you know what, like I'm okay with this or I still have some concerns about this, then then it's not for you, right? You know, if it's being required uh, to go down the path, uh, the career path that you're trying to go down, um, but like morally speaking or just within yourself because you just don't feel like it, you feel like this is your right and, and it is your right and you can choose not to, then then don't. Um, and I think that that is, that is the beauty of being in um, in this this world, uh, being, you know, free people, uh, free thinkers, we're able to have that freedom of choice. Uh, so you can choose whether or not you want to take the vaccine. You can choose whether or not, uh, this is right for you and your family. Uh, and with each choice, there are various different consequences and you'll have to resolve within yourself, like what those consequences may be and how it may be affecting you and your life. Um, but ultimately it's a matter of, of what works best for you. Uh, and so if not taking the vaccine and not going down the medicine route is what works best for you. For you then do that um, if it's the opposite then do that but ultimately uh, the choice is yours but there are many of uh, different uh, vaccines that are required to work in the healthcare field specifically in the hospital health system so if you are against vaccinations or if you have an issue with um, you know being told that you have to get this vaccination to have this job uh, then that is something that you definitely need to think about before getting into healthcare, specifically in um, the hospital system. Okay. All right. I hope I answered this question for you, sis. You know, uh, if you have any other questions for me, y'all already know what to do. Leave them in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please join me on Tuesday as I hit up another video for another school. I will be researching another school with you guys live Tuesday. I was thinking Tuesday evening around maybe like four o'clock. I think uh, the time that I did before was a little bit too late because I had to work the next day. So Tuesday at four, join me here. Um, we'll be doing another school and I'll list the school that we're doing on Monday so that you guys can be prepared. Follow me on Instagram at on PA and on Instagram at Get That's the University where we help you not only get into but through PA school. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time. 